students, I am back with the second video on the video series of class 6 science food. Where does it come from? And in this video, we are going to learn about food obtained from animals. And we will start our learning with rearing of animals. Now, do you know what is rearing of animals? Well, managing, breeding and taking care of animals by humans for benefit is what we call rearing of animals. So let us look at some examples to understand it in more detail. Let's get started. So let us now quickly see that how these various animals are managed. So here uh, we often see dairy farm management where the animals which are capable of giving milk, they are taken care, they are managed, they are well fed, they are, I mean, they are given care 24 by 7 so that they can give us more and more milk and that to good quality milk. Poultry farm management where uh, birds are taken care of because they give us eggs. Not only eggs, they even the birds are also eaten like the chicken or the flesh of other birds around like turkey, chicken, they are also eaten. So poultry farm management takes care of that. The animal breeding beekeeping because honeybees provide us honey and honey is again very nutritious fisheries because fishes are very rich source of protein so fishery is altogether a different occupation that that people are uh, employed to catch fishes so they catch fishes from uh, the oceans or from rivers and then they sell them so that that's the entire uh, concept of fishery so fishing is done for commercial purpose so let's first talk about the dairy animals. So when we talk about dairy animals, it is about animals which give us milk and when we get milk, so obviously we also get milk products indirectly for human consumption. So examples of such animals are cows, buffaloes, even camel provides milk, uh, goat, sheep. These are all examples of dairy animals. However, most common dairy animal is cow and buffalo and they give us milk and milk products. Now, when a dairy farm is established, it is very important that proper care of the animal is taken. So it is important that good quality breeds of animals are maintained so that they are disease resistant and they have the potential to give more milk. So high milk yielding uh, animals are chosen. It is important to maintain cleanliness so that the animals do not uh, get any diseases because if the animal is diseased, the milk that is obtained from the animals can also be harmful for consumption. So it is important that regular visits by veterinary doctors are done so that the animals stay healthy. Now not only milk, so once we get milk from these animals, a lot of milk products can be obtained from it. For example, cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream. So these are all milk products. So once we have milk, a huge number of milk products can also be obtained and they are all consumed by us. You talk about poultry farm management. So here, uh, management of domesticated birds for eggs or meat for human consumption. So again, eggs and meats are very commonly consumed by human beings and that is why all these birds, whether you talk about duck, you talk about uh, chickens, you talk about turkey. So all of these, they are like kept in cages, they are given food on time, cleanliness is maintained, it is ensured that they are all disease free and then proper care is taken in all respect and in return they give us eggs and a lot of times the birds, it, the birds are themselves eaten up. So like the smaller birds, like the chicks, so they are often eaten up directly. Let's now talk about apiculture. So that sounds a new name, right? So here we are talking about beekeeping, where honeybees are purposely kept so that a beehive is created. And do you know how a beehive gets created? What, what does a honeybee does? The honeybee goes from flower to flower. It sucks the nectar from the flower and then it creates honey out of it. So it creates a beehive. If you have ever seen a beehive, you will see that a lot of honey bees, a swarm of bees, they remain at that honey uh, beehive and then they produce honey they, out of the nectar which they suck from different flowers. And how do we get that honey from the beehive? So this is how a beehive looks like. So what is done is, 
professionally all the honey bees are first removed from that area because as long as honey bees are there you cannot extract honey out of it because the honey bees are going to bite you so first of all the honey bees are removed from that area and then all the honey that is there in the bee hive that is extracted for human consumption so this entire management of honey bees is done commercially to increase the production of honey and this is called apiculture so that's the term given to it then finally we talk about fisheries where management of fishes and other aquatic animals for human consumption as i said there are huge variety of fishes which are available a lot of fishes are found in uh, the sea water uh, you also have a lot of uh, other organisms like crabs or prawns they are also consumed by human beings so you see so many different varieties of aquatic animals are consumed by human beings so how do you get them so for that purpose you have fisheries so the fishermen they catch fishes from uh, the aquatic bodies or the water bodies and then it is commercially sold in the market and that's how people eat fishes so the significance of fishery is there are a lot of uh, uh, advantages with fishery first of all it provides employment so these people the fishermen so they are getting a source of income for themselves second therefore it improves the economy obviously so they are getting something they are earning something so the economy is getting improved fresh water and marine fishes are both used as food so your scope increases you have so many fishes present in huge oceans so even those fishes are uh, consumed by human beings fresh water fishes are also consumed by human beings so like huge variety of fishes are also available so you see when you talk about animals it is not only the dairy animals which uh, which provide us nutritious food but also the fishes the honey bees uh, the uh, birds so they all provide us a lot of nutrition i hope this video was useful in the next video we are going to learn about the different food habits and how do we classify organisms based on their food habits now that's going to be a very critical video for your exam perspective so be with us